Of course, few of us want to give a presentation where the slides are simply white. Normally we want a little bit more gorgeousness than that. So let's click on the Master Pages section of the Task Pane and let's look at the pre-formatted slides that come with OpenOffice. As you can see, there's quite a few of them. So let's begin with this one. If I click on it, it is applied to all the slides in the presentation. And you'll see we now have a totally different look for the presentation. Let's try another one. And another one, and you know, you'll notice it is all the slides of the presentation every time we do that. Now it could be that you might want a slightly different background for one of your slides. If I choose Load, Backgrounds, and I'm going to choose Blue Lines and Gradients. And with that selected, click OK. Just the slide that I was had selected changes. And so here we see that the title slide is a slightly is a different color but similar format to the rest of the presentation. So that's one way to make a slide turn out. So again, master pages, click to apply to all the slides, slide design, load, presentation backgrounds. Let's try going to brown. OK. With the, with the selected option, OK again. And that gives you a different background for just the selected slide. It is also possible to customize the format of the individual placeholders. You want to approach that with some care because as you know, an overly busily formatted presentation can rapidly get, distract, get distracting. But just to show you how it's done, let me select this placeholder and I'm going to click on the edge to select the placeholder itself. Once I have the handles, I know the place, placeholder itself is selected. I'm going to come over here and choose a new font and choose something that's noticeably different. Oh heavens, no I can't do that, this one is noticeably different. Now we need to make it quite a bit bigger, maybe even more bigger. This is very familiar, very standard. There, and now coming over here we can choose a different font color. And right clicking on the placeholder, we can specify a border and a fill for that placeholder. So let's choose line and we'll say we want a line to be continuous. We want it to be light green and we'll make it a slightly thicker green so we can see it. And click OK. And there we have our green line outside our placeholder. Clicking to select the placeholder again, clicking the edge of the placeholder to select it. If you click in the text, you get the flashing cursor that tells you the text is selected, but we want the placeholder itself. Now I'll come to area to get the fill options. As you can see, we've got many different possibilities, including a picture in the background. I'm just going to go ahead with a color fill and we'll choose light blue, which won't be very beautiful. But the idea is to show you the possibilities. In addition to formatting placeholders by changing the fill, the border, the font, the font color, we can also change the actual placeholders themselves. So to illustrate that, I'm going to select this subtitle placeholder. And of course, the first thing we can do is size it by dragging a corner, a corner handle. We can move it by pointing to an edge and getting the four-headed arrow and moving it around. We can also rotate it by using the rotate button on the drawing toolbar, get the red handles, point to a corner and rotate as you choose. Perhaps a diagonal subtitle might not be just everybody's choice for a, for a presentation, but 
it just illustrates the adaptability of the initial placeholder layout. You don't have to stick with it, you can customize it to your own needs.